match. I don't even want to commentate anymore. <laughs> Done. I like didn't know what to that say the last so talk. It was just like <laughs> it was literally my, just like whoever sports match like, hit first. <laughs> my heart was racing, dude. I didn't know what was gonna happen. Like all the Falco did was like shoot lasers the other way, short hop laser the other way, and then all the Pagoda did was like wave dash back F smash yeah. when he was like not approaching him at all. Super super fun match. All right, so predictions. Who do you think's gonna take this? Uh. I want to say Abrahi and Lovo, um, but Cyrox is just super solid. I mean, obviously he's number one. He's probably going to love hearing that now. You know dude. what it's going to depend on? I think Lovo is going to be kind of what makes or breaks this set for both teams. Lovo? Yeah. If he Lovo's the X Factor? If, if he controls space really well, um, and like, because it's going to be harder for uh, blue team to get the kills. They can get edge guards well, but as far as raw killing power, they have the disadvantage. Um, so I think if Lo like Lobo can shut down their offense and like you know control them with lasers, then uh, that can really like put a damper on uh, on Red Team's game plan. Yeah. So we'll see. Yeah, you're right. I think uh, Lobo is probably the smartest. I think this is actually a really good. Uh, this is gonna be a good match because Lobo and Abrahi, I think, two of the smartest players in Colorado. Yeah. Um, and then both Cyrox and Turtle are both newer school. I think Cy or Cyrox has been playing for like four years, five years, which is like relatively new compared to the yeah. general consensus. Do you know how long uh, Turtle's been playing? Yeah, about two years. I think okay. he's approaching two and a half soon. Yeah. Uh, so both really good, and they're both super technical. Right, I mean, right. Ben's super quick, rarely messes up any of his bread and butter stuff. Yeah. And then Cyrox. Look, look at this forward smash. Yeah, like look at that. Exhibiting. I can't do it. Look, you learned that one from uh, Makoto. <laughs> Sick. So I think it'll be more of a, a battle of wit versus like pure speed. overwhelming speed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which is, I feel like a lot of what we see in Melee is like old school, at least here in Colorado, because we're still in that like mid phase where uh, the old school players still like are dominant, dominant in the yeah. game. Well, actually, Cyrox is number one in the PR. I took that back. Uh, but up until recently, like the number one player has been in Luigi. So. For, for literally 10 years. 10 years, yeah. Literally, like since the beginning of. And number two was a link for, yeah, for a long forever, time. Yeah. So. So I think they're going to go to... Uh, I have no idea. Uh, I think both these teams kind of like space. So I would I would not expect to go to Yoshi's this set. What other competitive games do hand warmers? Have you never seen like Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, any other 2D fighter? They do button checks all the time with their sticks, you know, make sure everything's uh, bound to the right button. You got your, your crouching medium, your crouching low. Yeah. You got your, uh, <laughs> yeah, all your, all your fighting games. Yeah, yeah, every fighting game does hand warmers. Yeah, Cyrax has been playing for four Crazy years. Crazy 8, yeah, they said that. Thanks, Crazy 8. Got our back. Yeah, I know what I'm doing, man. I commentate <laughs> on the reg. What are you talking about? All right, All right so we got to Dreamland. Like I said, both these teams like space. Yeah, Sheik Falco going to be the uh, the Night Money and Lobo team. Yeah. Whereas the red team is going to be what we saw earlier, Cyrox and, uh, Cyrox and Turtle. So it looks like... Uh, Night Money actually doing a really good job of keeping uh, him at bay, keeping yeah. Cyrox at his. And, and then, uh, Lobo takes up that, that stock from Turtle. Yeah, okay, so I can kind of relate to this because when I play doubles with Irv, uh, we, obviously Irv is just a way better player than I am. Right. Uh, so I kind of leave him to do the 1v1 because I know there's not a person in Colorado who can 1v1 him besides like maybe Cyrox. Right. And I'll just do my best to keep him at bay. So I think Avery's kind of doing the same strategy. He knows that uh, Lobo kind of outclasses uh, Turtle. So he'll yeah. just kind of do his job to keep Cyrox away and let Lobo <coughs> do his thing. Especially since it's a Falco who can uh, end stock super quick and yeah. also get a stock. And I mean, quick. as the Sheik, you can really, really control the space and, you know, not really commit too hard. Just like space bears and stuff to keep uh, the Fox player out. So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that was really smart by Avery. He getting the Marth off stage. Aren't able to close out the stock, but uh, they've still got this edge, edge guard situation going. Yeah, kind of a mess right now. Just kind of people trying to get yeah. away from the edge, throwing out some really strong hitboxes. Okay, Sarux gets the uh, the strong hit, and that's gonna be it's gonna be a uh, pretty early lead for Red Team. Yeah, seven to five or six to five now. Yeah, and if they get the stock on Turtle, oh, he misses the fair there. Okay, really good oh, fair. That that's gonna be it. Be it. Is, yep. Oh yeah, this kind of just leaves them to uh, bully. Oh wow! Yeah, good presence of mind from Lobo there. Yeah. To see that he was in a situation where he couldn't do anything besides get down. Yeah, that was a mouthful. That's, oh my god. That's kind of. Uh, I feel like one thing that really trans uh, transfers from his link. It's just like he doesn't always choose. Like he doesn't have set combos that he goes for. Like he just.
kind of goes what he's feeling yeah. for what he's feeling. And, you know, a lot of it, like, there's some reads that are involved. And, uh, you know, it's definitely that old school, like, follow up um, as opposed to going for, like, the guarantee. Ooh, Lobo almost gets that Nair uh, forward smash conversion. Ooh. Sark's doing a really good job to interrupt the edge guard from Lobo. Um, and oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Everyone still makes it back. Turtle tries to counter on the way oh down. Oh my god. Ben, oh yeah, my Turtle goodness. just got bodied by everyone. That was there. excellent spacing they just by added, Lobo yeah, not to down air his partner. Oh, but he does. Uh, Lobo ends up losing the stock. Oh, and oh, Abraham nares. Nares off stage. Yeah. Uh, really bad input error. Oh, but right. it's going to be another uh, SD from Turtle. back throw to close it out. Yeah. Okay, Shine gets him off stage. Oh. This is probably going to be a dead sheet. No, no Shine's going to the back. other way. Yeah. yeah. Mm, all right. Yeah, so they're really not out of start. A, not out of range for blue team at all. They really need to start uh, racking up the damage on uh, the march. For sure. Yeah, yeah. And then and close out the stock on Justin. Okay, if they can close out. If the they close guard. out the stock on Mark, even better. Yeah. Uh, okay, good stuff. Uh, so now if they just end the stock, knowing that the fox was gonna die. I thought he was living. Yeah, Lobo is so smart, man. He's, he's aware of everything at pretty much almost all times. Yeah. One of my favorite players to watch, in fact. Just you can see that he's not gonna overwhelm you like any other Falco. Oh, Avery just kinda lets him go. Yeah. And I think that might be it. He lands on stage, forward smash, yeah. Ooh. Yep, that tipper's gonna close it out. Yeah. Yeah, so Night Money and Lobo kinda smiling at each other. Yeah. I uh I think they can clean it up just a little bit. I feel like their spacing was just a little sloppy that game. Um but I mean that's definitely doable. Um, do you think they should go to a smaller stage, or...? Uh, I think Dreamland is fine. They'll probably go back, yeah. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. I really like this pick for uh, for Lobo, especially. It gives him a lot of time to not get bodied by literally everyone, yeah. because I think the percent on Lobo matters more than anyone else. Right. Um, I call this stage Lobo Land. Lobo he's so Land. good on it. <laughs> so, uh, just, like, it's so much space for him to work with. Yeah, we're just seeing what we saw at the beginning of the last game, where it's just kind of the two 1v1s, where yeah. they gave Blue Team a chance to pull ahead. Yeah, they really need to start working together. I feel like playing Marth in teams, like you really have to work with your partner. Um, and, you know, you definitely have to play support. Yeah, for sure. I think the best static team in Colorado is probably uh, probably Scallop and third strongest. Uh, oh, definitely. They, I mean, they're the only ones who team consistently. I mean, Irv and I too, but Irv's trying to get out of melee. He's trying to quit. Oh, is he really? Yeah. I didn't know that. He's not feeling it anymore. And I feel bad every time I make him play doubles with me because I just keep pulling him back. And I'm like, I'm sorry, man. Wow. Yeah. That was really fast from Cyrox. But unfortunately, it doesn't lead to anything. He's just hitting these double shines on Falco consistently. Toto's wow. It's pretty really much a yeah, 2v2 edge guard situation going on here. And well, even if they're not getting the stocks, they're racking up percent super fast. Yeah, but Turtle was covering like a roll in on the stage, knowing that uh, Cyrox was going to cover tech in place and like any other options if he got a knockdown. Okay, good stuff getting Lobo off the stage and a shine spike to close it out. Uh, yeah, this, this could, could be, be it. Quick two wow, stocks. the laser wow. saves him. Not only saves him, but it uh, takes a stock from Sarox as well. Yep. That's what I was talking about earlier. Lobo's just so aware. He knows what the best option is pretty much 90% of the time. Yeah, and see, it's stuff like that is why I think that Falco is so good in teams, because, you know, laser can help with recoveries. It can interrupt combos, control space. There's just so many things that you can do with it, uh, or with, you know, Falco. And then, also, he has, like, really quick, like, easy-to-execute combos. Um, you know, yeah. a couple shine dares, and up tilts. Yeah, Turtle gets caught. Uh, gets caught with that back air trying to charge the forward smash for the edge bug. Yeah, Lobo's not gonna recover from that. Uh, Turtle does a really good job of comboing that money as to not save his partner. Yeah, I think uh, Blue Team needs to get some gimps here if they want to uh, stay in this game. Yeah, definitely. And Sheik not quite gonna die off the top, but unfortunately leaves Falco to be defend for himself. Oh wow, everyone's just racking a percent on Lobo right yeah. now, and then it ends with the Blue Team off stage. I, I, wow, okay. that was so smart. The up smash claimed with the forward smash from Turtle. Yeah, this game, um, I feel like what, what we saw just the set was uh, Turtle and Cyrox's spacing was just a little bit more on point um, than, than Night Money and Lobos, which kind of surprised me. Oh, um, no. Well. And that's going to be that for Fox. So, nope. I mean... If Avery he plays this well, it's not out of his out of his reach. But uh, yeah, he, he does have his work cut out for him for sure. He's to gimp the fox and then kill the Marth soon. We did play like hours of Marth Sheik last night, but it's a whole different ballgame when there's not only a fox but the best fox in the state on right. the same team as the Marth. Right. 
Yeah, just kind of deciding. <laughs> okay, that like, was fun. What, yeah. what should I do here? Forward air dash attack up air, pretty but, sick. But uh, I thought that... I thought that it was pretty cool that he, or it was good that he fared and did not hit his teammate. He waited until he was past him. I feel like that's like a pretty precise timing. Yeah. Um, so already a 2-0 deficit for uh, blue team here. Oh yeah, this is this is winners finals. Yeah, we're gonna have to make a climb to uh, bring this one back. Yeah. So I think they should go battlefield. But they go back to Dreamlight. Yeah, they run it back. It's not like they were doing particularly, you know, bad no. on the stage. They just need to polish up some things. And they can definitely win this game, but yeah. it's just they need uh, to close out stocks mainly. Yeah. It's just gonna be really hard for them to uh, get anything started when Cyrox is so good at controlling space. Yeah, Nair, uh, Global almost gets the down air to close out Turtle stocks pretty early. Wow! Oh wow! <laughs> um, they get about the forward air to forward air. That was yeah. I feel like he shouldn't have forward aired him because it was a down, a down smash, right? Yeah. Down smash would have killed him, so. Oh my god. But regardless, they got the stock and they still have yet to lose one. Yeah, the Falco own. and the Sheik just kind of uh, throwing out some bears here. Both their best, uh, fastest kill options, that is. Yep. I mean, Sheik's fair, obviously. Um, oh, oh, can he close this out? Yeah, if yeah. he makes that trade, it's fine, but. Oh, Turtle oh. actually ledge guards his teammate. Cyrox kind of smiles at it, but. Uh, that can't be, uh, yeah, you know. Turtle shakes his head. That's that's yeah. the worst when you, like, let your teammate down. Yeah, back air is gonna, yeah, close it and out. Especially when you're, like, trying to help him out, and instead you do, like, the worst thing possible for him. Yeah, and it's fine, <laughs> you know, it it's can't rattle you when you're, like, ahead. Wow, Yeah, really I mean, you shine. just have to keep playing, but, uh... But if it puts you behind, suddenly you're like, oh, my God, if we yeah. lose this, this is my fault. You know, you can't let it rattle you like that. Yup. Um, but Cyrox did bring that back super fast with that gift on, uh, Lobo. Why do you enter his Lobo Desu? Why? Why why are these weeble I don't know. Why is everyone trying to be an anime? <laughs> Gets him with the late nair, shield pokes him. Back here's gonna send Night Money off. He's gonna try really hard to make this recovery. Lobo needs to stop focusing on a uh, fighting turtle and helping Knight recover, but he right. just chooses to do the former. And then he gets grabbed. Okay. Lobo's really good not wow. to take too much percent there. Yeah, he's so in a really bad spot. That fair from Night Money's gonna catch out uh, Turtle. Oh, oh the side wow. B's gonna gimp him, yeah. Okay, look, this is actually looking like they can take this game. Uh, throws out the chain, does get a hit on it, so it's one for one. The chain is one for one. <laughs> we need a chain completely counter. Completely viable move, guys. Yeah, completely. It's 100% accurate. Can confirm. Uh, so we have uh, a lead for the blue team for the first time in three games. Yeah. Uh, which must be nice. This, if they win this, this is like at least show them that they can do it. But the problem is, this is the neutral stage for, uh, yeah, yeah, for Red this is, Team. Yeah, this is where they wanted to be. And this is where they, yeah, they, I mean, this is game try number three yeah. of, of beating them on that stage. Yeah, so they they take do take one. it convincingly. convincingly. Um, but yeah, we'll see, we'll see what happens. I'm going to guess Pokemon Stadium is where they're going to go. Um, or final? Battlefield? Question mark? Yeah, I guess it goes back to what we were talking about earlier, how in double it's pretty much just like preference. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I do think... Yeah, yeah. So I do think that... Um, I mean, Stadium's going to be good for them, obviously. It's going to give uh, access to earlier sheet kills, but that also opens up... Oh, I guess not, because there's no Fox on red team, so right. it doesn't give the uh, Marth earlier kill options off the top. It either. does give uh, Falco like good space to laser, yeah. but it's not like as much space as FD. So right now we just kind of, uh, yeah, I guess it's... Um, what I saw just there was blue team, like, both consciously go for uh, turtle. So I wonder if that's what they're going to try and do here in this match. Yeah. I feel like it's a pretty good uh, oh, strategy. Wow. First two stocks going to be gone for blue team. Then. Yeah, really good team edge guard there to close out both stocks. Yeah, they actually were racking up uh, percentage on Cyrox super fast, but they just kind of tossed yeah. it away at the ledge there. I think, uh, especially when you're playing Falco and Sheik, too, Characters whose recoveries are exploitable twice as much in doubles. Right. Uh, you kind of want to maintain center stage because that'll give you access to a lot of your uh, early setups that you need. Yeah. I feel like uh, Night Money's getting stuck in shield quite oh, a bit. Oh, no. Oh, good save. Lobo, yeah. Um, but is that going to kill? Okay. Yeah, Lobo SD's there. Um, if they take the stock from Turtle, this isn't too awful. They're still yeah. at a deficit, but nothing too bad. Especially in uh, doubles. Uh, blue team's starting to look a little bit more coordinated. Um, they're not like getting in each other's way as much. Yeah. 
Um, unfortunately, they're at a little two stock deficit here. Yeah. Cyrox is at moderately high percent, but Fox will make it back. Yeah. He's, uh, he's still got a much anywhere. Still got a little bit of percent before he's gonna die. Unless, he's, unless he gets edge guarded. Yeah. Turtle throwing out these down there is pretty, uh, pretty often. Just kind of stopping Night Money in his movement. Yeah. Good coverage by Turtle there as well to stop Lola from getting that edge guard. And there's the Bane of Falco, man. You get shined one time and you're dead at 40. Yep. Um, so yeah, it looks like it might be a convincing 3-1 victory for Red Team here. Yeah, they really need to close out. Okay, that's how oh, it starts. Oh, the windmill saves him, knocks him right off the uh, the backboard there. Because the alley uh, If Lobo could have closed out that stock, it, it would have been doable. Yeah, it's just they're getting them too much room, room to work with. Yeah, high percent of stocks. That's kind of the uh, way you. Get, oh wow, it just fully charges the F smash and reads uh, Nightmare's roll. Yeah, yeah, I feel like. In this matchup, like, oh, wow, that was wow. brutal. That's Lobo versus uh, four stocks. Yeah. I, I think in this matchup, um, really, like, the, the blue, blue team needs to stay closer together just because the Fox can do, like, whatever he needs to by himself, you know? Yeah. Like, he's got really quick options, really good ways to approach. He can weave in and out of there with his speed without being vulnerable. But the Sheik and Falco, you know, if... If the Falco gets in a bad spot, you know, he's going to die at 40% to a yeah. shine. Ben, and could, ben could be throwing this one away. He's definitely uh, <laughs> SD twice. Ooh, if he tippered yeah. him, that would have been... That's going to be up. Oh, yeah. Okay, good game. 3-1 for, uh, for Red Team. So now we're going to have Thrasher and uh, Wiz P versus Night Money and Lobo in Losers Finals. I'm going to go... I'm going to go use the restroom real quick. I'll be right back, though. Solo commentary. Save my spot. <laughs> Thrasher and Wispy. So now we have Thrasher Wispy versus uh, Lobo Night Money. I believe they played earlier, and Lobo Night Money just kind of handed it to him pretty convincingly. We'll see if they can repeat their performance this time. Hey, Dan. Oh, I got it. Do you have a uh, micro USB charger by chance? that I could potentially plug my phone into? Don't worry. That's fine. I'm sure Jory might have one, though. He's in the zone, it's fine. <laughs> I was gonna bother uh, Jory for a charge for my phone, but he's definitely playing. Uh, he's got a racing wheel attached to his desk, and he's got like a 40-incher just chilling right in front of him playing a racing game. This is the next level stuff. So yeah. I don't know what to say, man. It's just uh, we're waiting for We have a lot of downtime in between matches. What's up, Ben? Yeah, hop hop on while he's gone. He told he? he told me not to give anyone his spot, but just for you, I'm going to give you his spot. Where'd he go? He went to the bathroom. Oh. We're here with uh, doubles grand champion, Benjamin. We're not grand champions yet. Grand we're champions. We're just waiting Benjamin. on grands. Oh, my God. I F-smashed Cyrox yeah. so many times. I've actually never done that. <laughs> that clanked with the yeah, side B? That was ridiculous. Well, I, I mean, I, at that point, I kind of stopped trying, but I just wanted to hit that so bad because I knew he was going to side B. I just didn't throw it out early enough. What's next? Loser's finals of doubles? Yeah. Abraham Lobo versus uh, Rasher with Pizzle. I think the thing with uh, Lobo and Abraham, or, Lobo, or yeah, Lobo and Night Money, they don't work together very well. They're, like, really good yeah, individually. Dude, I, saw, I saw, like, uh, Avery was getting edge guarded over and over by Justin, and yeah. like Lobo just chose to fight you. I know. I was, I just was like, like, I was uh, like, dude, I'll take this. Like, keep fighting me. And I was just like, I, don't know. I, I said it over and over. I was like, I was like all right, Lobo needs it. to like do something besides fight Ben right now.